Hello beautiful souls, it's Karen here at Soul Magic Inspiration and Star Chart Tarot and I'm here today with a collective reading, the next 48 hours so we've just got some messages for you today um, it's timeless so whenever you come across that, this reading it's for you I just want to say a really big thank you for your love and support if you're new here, welcome, I hope you enjoy my content please subscribe, like, share, comment, it really helps my channel grow in February, for all new subscribe for all subscribers, there will be a giveaway of a free reading uh, for your support. So I'll be announcing that at the end of the month. Okay, so let's just get the messages for you today. And all my links are down below for my Etsy shop, my card shop, and my Patreon. So check that out. So we've got Guardians of the Land protection. So I feel that your guides and angels want you to know that you're protected. But also you're here to help protect the earth, okay? You're here to help at the moment to, you know, really help protect the earth, the animals, the environment, the people, to help raise the vibration of the planet and the people on it. You're here to really, you know, show others the way. And you're very wise and you could particularly resonate with owls. Um, owls are the sign of wisdom, could be a power animal for you, but they want you to know you are wise. You've, you know, gained a lot of information um, in this lifetime alone, but in other lifetimes. You're an old soul, you've lived many lifetimes. And we've got transcending Pegasus, how beautiful is that? So some of you could have a, a special affinity of unicorns, unicorn energy, um, I know Pegasus is not shown as a unicorn as such, but it is like that energy for me. And again, that Pegasus is that flying horse and he's transcend you're transcending, you're rising above, okay? You're rising above your difficulties, you're overcoming obstacles, okay? Things are going to be able to be overcome, okay? So don't lose heart on that. And we have acceptance. So I feel you're coming into that energy of acceptance, of where you are at in your life right now and also who you are as a person and you know being in that energy of self-love self-worth self-esteem is a really good place to be accepting yourself warts and all nobody is perfect and enlightenment yes i feel that you are becoming enlightened okay you're rising your vibration you're seeing the truth of the world you're seeing the truth of who you are and what your purpose is here and you're opening up more you could be opening up your third eye your crown chakra your soul star chakra to really connect into your guides and angels using your intuition really following your own inner guidance at this time and open to higher learning and higher awareness at this time and we have courage and I feel that you do have the courage. Sometimes it does take courage to speak your truth, to be authentic, when everyone else is saying the opposite to what you truly believe is true. And it takes courage. It takes courage to stand up to others and speak your truth. And you're not saying that other people are wrong and you are right, but it's believing in your own authenticity and being able to stand in your truth and moving forward and doing the things that, you feel guided to do it can take courage when it goes against the norm when it goes against what other people are doing and it does take courage to be your authentic self to speak your truth in a world where people do not see things the same so you know be proud of yourself and be courageous and keep moving forward and we have expansion and I love this image of the tree. It's like abundance to me. You know, all the fruit on the tree. We've got a beautiful bird. You know, there's a abundance wanting to come in. Open your arms to receive. Open your mind. Open your heart to receive this abundance. Your life is expanding. You are expanding. Your mind is expanding. Your understanding of who you are and what you're here to do is expanding. And open up your heart, open up your mind, open up to all the good that is waiting to come in for you. 
and you have the power you are powerful you have that inner strength you have that inner power but not in a negative way you have the power to be that sovereign being to live your authentic life to manifest your desires and just like lightning you can manifest instantaneously once you get into that flow and you honor the power of what is within you the power within you we have vigilance here so you know it's time to be vigilant maybe you know do some cleansing and clearing work on yourself on your friends group on your family group you know who do you hang out with um you know who gives you a good vibe who gives you a negative vibe um you know be vigilant about who you allow into your life you know protect your own energy um you know be authentic as i said be discerning and have vigilance in your life you know protect your own energy protect the people you love around you you know obviously as a loving person as an empathetic person you need to do regular cleansing and clearing and protect your energy and you know don't give away your power to others and we have innocence and you know recapture that childhood innocence you know connect your inner child from time to time have fun have play times you know play like a child you know go and run around with your arms wide open swing on the swings in the park go on the you know the slide um ride a bike you know um whatever it is for you you know bring back that childlike innocence that childlike fun and just be in the moment i mean children are truly in the moment aren't they they're not thinking about yesterday or tomorrow they truly are in the moment and i feel we need to bring that in and be in that moment and have those fun playful times give yourself permission to do that and we have purification so again i feel you know that it might be time this has been coming up a lot lately to purify your energy maybe do some cleansing and clearing i've got a cleansing and clearing medita uh, video on my channel some tips and ideas there to cleanse your energy in your home around your aura you know and also it's about our thoughts as well and our heart purify your thoughts your words and deeds and your heart you know your feelings you know do some inner work do some cleansing do some meditations um let go of negative thinking and patterns and behaviors purify that in yourself and you know give yourself permission to move forward with a clean slate we've got shaman ancient healing wisdom so some of you could be guided to you know do some shaman training or maybe some of you already have and there could be some ancient healing wisdom that you're going to tap into that is wanting to come forward here um you know a lot of the knowledge is within us and you could have lived a lifetime maybe before as a shaman and you've got all that ancient healing wisdom within you and maybe it's time to tap into that to access that now to help others in this lifetime and we have earth again home so again i feel you know they're really saying even if you resonate as being a starseed or a light worker our home at the moment is is mother gaia is earth we're here to help you know we may not have been born of this planet originally but we're here now and we're helping and we're, we're here part of the you know the human lifetime on earth right now to help raise people's vibrations and the planet and home is where the heart is and where you are now right now is what counts okay so really connecting i feel it's time to get grounded connecting to mother gaia really connecting those roots to mother gaia connecting see the roots going down from the soles of your feet into the center of mother gaia to the crystalline grid and feel that energy come back up through your feet through your legs through your torso through your chest up into your head up into the crown chakra so as above so below you're connected to the earth and you're connected to your guides and angels and we have hearth 
comfort. So where do you find comfort? What is comfortable for you? Find yourself a cosy place. You know, home is where the heart is, as I said earlier. You know, find a place that brings you comfort, wherever that is. Maybe a spot in your home or maybe all of your home or, you know, somewhere in nature. OK, and nurture yourself, you know, honour that in yourself, that sometimes we need to just find comfort and coziness and, you know, cuddle down maybe with a blanket, maybe you've got an open fire and that brings you comfort, you know, whatever that is for you, find comfort in your day. And we have self-adventure. So it could be time for you to have an adventure, okay, time to step out of your comfort zone when you're ready, okay, to explore more of your where you're living or explore other parts of the world. Or have an adventure in your mind, you know, use your imagination. And maybe it's time to write a book or create a, a piece of art. Whatever that is for you, it's time for an adventure. And we have rock, endurance. So they want you to know that you're very strong. You're strong like the rock. You've endured a lot, okay? You've been through a lot. You've withstood, withstood the storms, the traumas the setbacks, the obstacles, the blockages, whatever it was for you, you've endured, you've stayed strong, okay? And another reason to get grounded, to really, really anchor in to Mother Gaia at this time. And life breath. So whatever you do, whatever you're doing during the day, don't forget to breathe, okay? I mean, sometimes we do, and I'm talking from my own experience, Sometimes when I feel a bit stressed and then I notice that I haven't taken a breath and it's important that we do remember to breathe and, you know, maybe stop uh, for a moment in your day and remember to breathe and take five deep breaths in and then exhale, you know, five in and five out and just calm yourself, calm your mind, calm your body, you know, Allow yourself that and maybe do some breath meditations as well. That could help you at this time if you're feeling anxious or stressed right now. And we've got diligence again. So I feel this is something that's very important right now. So put in that time and effort. Put in the work needed. You know, put your all into something. If you're feeling passionate about something or you feel very strongly about something, you know, put in that time and effort. And, you know, that shows the universe that you're serious about this, that you really are behind what you're doing, you believe in what you're doing, and you're prepared to put in the time and effort, and time and effort will be rewarded. So remember. And we've got potential here. So you have a lot of potential within you, okay? And you may not have even tapped the surface of it. So again, maybe it's time to meditate, to go within, to really connect to yourself, to your inner knowing, your intuition, your higher self, to tap into that potential and maybe pray for guidance, connect your guides and, and angels. But there is more potential in you. There is more to come. And we have wonders. So again, I feel that that ties in with that potential. They want you to know that you are full of wonders yet to be seen and the world is full of wonders and look for the wonders in the world. Look for that. Look for the, the amazing things that we have on this planet. You know, the amazing scenery, you know, the nature, the, you know, the plants, the animals, you know, some of the ancient buildings that are still here the oceans, you know, the, the, the fish, the dolphins, the creatures of the ocean, you know, the creatures of the land, even down to the tiniest insect and the beautiful mountains and the beautiful natural phenomena that we have, you know, even the sky, you know, the starlit sky at night, the moon, the sun, the planets, all these wonders are there for us. And we take it for granted, don't we, sometimes? But just remember the wonders that we have on this planet. 
and again we've got power with the lightning again so i think they're really wanting to reinforce that message okay that you have the power within you never let anyone take away your power you know step into your power be a sovereign being take back your power okay you are more powerful than you know okay and use use that for good obviously and we have taken risks so again going back to that um new adventures so time to take a risk in your life you know time to maybe go somewhere new try something new do something new whatever that is it could be a big or small risk whatever you feel comfortable with at this point but always you know don't be afraid to take a risk and we have truth. So it's time for you to know the truth of yourself. And it's time to be honest with yourself as well. You know, be honest with yourself. It starts with ourself. And maybe there's some truth you're going to find out in the near future. Maybe this is somebody else's truth that they want to share. Okay, take what resonates. And we have happiness. So there's happiness coming towards you. We've got two beautiful dolphins and the sun. And the beautiful sky, like I said, wonders. You know, dolphins are wonders of the world, aren't they? And they bring such happiness and joy when we just watch them. Their playful energy. And going back to that playful energy as well, don't forget to get into that fun, playful energy. Tap into your inner child. And I give yourself permission to play and have fun. And again, this is what this card is saying to me. You know, step into that happiness. We choose to be happy. Choose to be happy now. You deserve that. We've got come back to the lead, to the edge. So again, this reminds me of the full energy. And, you know, getting ready to take a leap of faith. And we've got hearts here, if you can see that, love hearts. So this could be about love. Don't be afraid to take a risk in love. And poised, yes, she's poised on the edge, you're poised. So you may be getting close to a time when you know you're going to be asked to take a chance in love here for some of you and for others it could be another opportunity and clean it up so again you know it's talking about cleansing and clearing your energy i feel clean your home maybe you know have a good clear out get rid of things that you don't need get rid of clutter cleanse and clear your energy that allows space in for new to come into your life if you've been especially if you've been in stuck in stagnant energy it's time to have a good old clear up and clear up clean out in your home and also maybe in a workplace and also in your mind as well clean up and clear out your mind you know get rid of negative thought patterns and behaviors and we've got co-create here so we co-create with the universe and we've got various animals we've got the owl for wisdom we've got a cheetah and that looks like an egg so something could be just eating something that you've been manifesting you're co-creating with the universe and when we do that when we set our intentions we need to actually put in effort as well we need to take action towards that manifestation and you co-create with the universe so remember that and again we've got happy happy here again and we've got some beautiful stars so wish upon a star if that's how you see your manifestations and again it looks like she's sitting on an egg so there is something about to be manifested i feel and it's the number two plus six which is eight which is abundance so i feel abundance is coming towards you this is going to make you very happy a change in the wind so yeah there's going to be a change in the wind things are going to start moving forward there's been a lot of stuck stagnant energy you're going to feel this it could be subtle to start with but there is going to be a change things are going to start moving forward and we've got new life so some of you there's a new life awaiting for you and this could mean many things to many people so for some of you it could be moving to a new area for others a new job for some a relation a new relationship or for some it could be all of the above and also move into a new country as well, I'm, I'm getting for some of you. So whatever resonates, there's a whole new life waiting. And we have soulmates. So for some of you, you're going to be meeting a soulmate. And this new life is going to come about because of this, I feel. That you, maybe you're going to move in with somebody. Or they're going to move in with you. Or you're going to move 
countries, you're going to have adventures together. And it's a beautiful, beautiful connection. And we've got no place like home. So wherever you are with this person, I feel, is your home. And even if you travel around a lot, you're going to feel at home because you're in each other's energy. And, you know, we've got like a house um, above the clouds. So you could feel that way. You could feel, you know, really in your own little world, maybe. You know, that's what happens when you start falling in love, isn't it? Sometimes you do feel in your own little world. And maybe you're going to feel like that for a while. And you're above the clouds. You're feeling good. You're feeling happy. And, you know, you... You've got that soulmate love and wherever you are together is going to feel like home. So it won't matter to you, but you could be in that little bubble for a while, I feel. So let's get some final messages. So we've got begin now, take your first step. <clears throat> so make a step forward. It, it can be a small step. Just move forward in your life in some way. Find a way to move forward, whatever that could be, whether that's sending an email writing a letter, making a phone call, uh, creating something, whatever that is. And we've got rainbow blessings, blessings to shower in your life. Wow, how beautiful is that? So there are blessings coming into your life, so that's beautiful. And we've got overcoming obstacles, you can overcome anything. So we've got the beautiful peach, we've got the sword in the peach. Well, I don't know if that's a peach, it looks like a peach, it could be the stone. And that story, Sword in the Stone, where they do remove the sword. So there could be some truth coming to light here as well with that sword. Um, and some sweeter times. That does look like a peach to me. Sweeter times. You're going to overcome things, okay? You're going to start moving forward, as I say. And we've got miracles here. Expect the wonders to emerge. So we had that wonder card. Okay, so expect the best for yourself, okay? And, it, you know, expect a miracle. And that will help manifest it. And transformation, a fresh new way of living emerges. So we saw that for some of you, there is a change, a life change. And for some, it could be living with a partner, a new partner. As I say, some, you could be moving to a new country. Um, you could move because of a job, whatever that is for you. And there's going to be a new way of living. You're going to live, be living in a completely different way. And I'm not saying this is going to happen in 48 hours. OK, because obviously it'd be different for everybody. But this is the energies I'm picking up. It's the start of something. And fellow travellers, support is all around you. So if you need support and again, another rainbow, how beautiful is that? And the peacock. So how beautiful is that? Support is all around you. So again, I feel you're going to link up with like minded souls, fellow travellers up upon this planet, fellow um, curious people. You know, people that are open-minded, that are seeing the truth, that are awakened, that are transformed, okay? And support is around you. And just ask and you will receive. So beautiful messages there. I'm going to leave it there. Love and blessings. Take care.